Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum students. Welcome to Aspects Online Support Program Class 9 Week 11 Chapter Number 3 Subject Chemistry Prepared by Mariam Qureshi. Textbook Chemistry Page Number 42 to 57 Chapter Number 3 Periodic Table and Periodicity of Property. Topics included in this chapter are periodic tables, S and P block elements and periodicity of property. As it's my second lecture for this chapter, in first video uh, I discuss periodic table and S and P block elements. In this lecture I will discuss periodicity of property. Objectives By the end of the lesson, students will be able to know about periodicity of properties. In periodicity of properties, I will discuss shielding effect, atomic size, ionization energy, electron affinity, and electronegativity. Periodicity of properties. Now, what does periodicity of properties actually mean? The electronic configuration of elements with increasing atomic number in periodic tables show a periodic variation in their physical and chemical properties called periodicity of properties. As we know that in periodic table 118 elements are arranged on the basis of increasing atomic number. So when gradually the atomic number of elements increase then the physical and chemical properties of the elements also increase periodically that is called the periodicity of properties. Now the properties are of two types chemical properties and physical properties. Chemical properties of elements actually depends on valence shell electronic configuration. Valence shell electronic configuration means that how the electrons are arranged in valence shell of an element means that electrons are present in which subshell and in which orbital. Physical properties depends on the size of an atom. In this lecture, I will discuss five different properties one by one. First property is shielding effect. Definition the reduction in the force of attraction between nucleus and the valence electrons by the electrons present in the inner subshell is called shielding effect. Actually, in elements, when the number of shells increase, then the number of uh, inner electrons in these inner shells also increase. When the number of electrons in the inner shells increase, then these inner electrons shield the nucleus from the valence electrons. As a result, the attraction of the valence electrons with the nucleus decreases. That reduction in the force of attraction between the valence electrons and the nucleus is called as shielding effect. Trends in periods as we move from left to right in the periodic table, shielding effect remains same because number of shells in an atom remains same. When the number of shells in an atom remains the same, then the number of electrons in an atom remains the same. So that's why in period the shielding effect remains same. In groups, from top to bottom in the periodic table shielding effect increases because of increase in number of shells in an atom. So when the number of shells increase, then the number of inner electrons in the shells increase. As a result, the shielding effect increase. Look at this picture. In this picture, you can see an atom. In an atom, a positively charged nucleus has been shown. Positive charges actually show the positively charged proton particle. And two shells has been shown. In two shells, the blue ball shows negatively charged electrons. In the first shell, three electrons has been shown. But keep in mind, it's just a general representation. In case of specific representation, you can only fill two electrons in the first shell according to two and two formula. Here you can see that there is a repulsion between negatively charged electrons present in the first shell and negatively charged electrons present in the valence shell. You can also see that there is an attraction between the electrons uh, present in the shell and the positively charged particles pro protons present in the nucleus. But when the distance from the nucleus increase, then the attraction of valence electron with the nucleus decrease because the number of inner shells increase and in the inner shells the number of inner electrons increase and these inner electrons hide the nucleus and that's why the, uh, the attraction between the electrons present in the valence shell uh, with the nucleus decreases. That is called actually shielding effect. Second property is atomic size. Definition. The distance between the nucleus of an atom and the valence shell is called atomic size. Atomic size is simply the distance between the nucleus and the valence shell. 
trends in periods as we move from left to right in periods atomic size decreases why the atomic size decreases across the period because as when we move from left to right in the periods the number of shells remains same but the number of electrons in the valence shell increase as a result the attraction between the valence electrons and the nucleus increase so because of increase in attraction between the nucleus and valence electron the size of an atom becomes shrink in groups from top to bottom in the groups atomic size increase the atomic size in groups increase because from top to bottom in the groups the number of shells in an atom increase so when the number of shells increase then the uh, obviously the distance between the nucleus and the valence shell increase as a result the size of the atom will be increased third property is ionization energy definition the minimum amount of energy required to remove the outermost electrons from an isolated gaseous atom is called as ionization energy simply ionization energy is that amount of energy which we need to uh, remove or kick out the electrons from the valence shell friends in periods as we move from left to right in periods ionization energy increases why ionization energy increase from left to right in period in atomic size we discuss that the atomic size decrease when we move from left to right in the periods because the attraction between the nucleus and the valence shell increase so when the attraction between the nucleus and valence shell uh, electrons increase then it will be difficult for us to kick out the electrons from the valence shell that's why ionization energy increase a high ionization energy means stronger attraction between nucleus and valence electrons in groups from top to bottom in groups ionization energy decreases why ionization energy decreases uh, from top to bottom in the groups because when we move from top to bottom in the groups the size of an atom increase the attraction between the nucleus and valence electrons decrease so when the attraction between the nucleus and valence electron decrease it will be very easy for us to remove the electrons from the valence shell of an atom that's why uh, the uh, from top to bottom in the groups ionization energy decreases a lower ionization energy means weaker attraction between nucleus and valence electron the fourth property is electron affinity definition the amount of energy released when an electron adds up in the valence shell of an atom to form a uninegative gaseous ion is called electron affinity like in daily life when we do some work some amount of energy must release uh, from our body same like that when electrons add up in an atom then some amount of energy is released from an atom and that released amount of energy is called actually electron affinity trends in periods as we move from left to right in periods electron affinity increases why electron affinity increases from left to right in periods because when we move from left to right in periods the nuclear charge increase atomic size decrease and the attraction between the valence electrons and the nucleus increase so because of increase in attraction of valence electron with the nucleus the greater amount of energy will be released when an electrons add up in the valence shell of an atom in groups from top to bottom in groups electron affinity decreases because the atomic size decreases the attraction between the valence electron and the nucleus decreases so uh, obviously the atom will lose less amount of energy when electrons add up in the valence shell of an atom alkali metals uh, the first group elements have lowest ion electron affinity and halogens have highest electron affinity halogens uh, group 7 elements are called halogens the fifth and last property is electronegativity definition the ability of an atom to attract the electrons toward itself in a chemical bond is called electronegativity as we know that during chemical bond formation an atom must lose or gain electron or share electron so actually electronegativity is the ability of each and every element that how much uh, are up to which extent an atom can attract the electrons toward itself trends in periods as we move from left to right in periods electronegativity increases why the electronegativity increases from left to right in periods because as we move from left to right in periods the atomic size of an element decreases 
and when these atoms take part in a chemical bond formation the attraction between the their nucleus and bonding electrons will be higher so that's why such elements attract more electrons toward itself that's why the electronegativity increases from left to right in the periods in groups from top to bottom in groups electronegativity decreases electronegativity decreases because from top to bottom in groups the size of an atoms increase and when these elements take part in the bond formation the attraction between their nucleus and the bonding electron will be less so that's why the electronegativity will be less recap i hope by the end of the lesson students will be able to know about periodic table and what are periods and groups in the periodic table s and p block elements and also periodicity of properties which includes shielding effect atomic size ionization energy electron affinity and electronegativity tasks assigned as i already discussed all the topics now i hope uh, students you will be able to solve the self assessment in your chapter please solve self assessment 3.1 self assessment 3.2 self assessment 3.3 self assessment 3.5 self assessment 3.6 and self assessment 3.7 now uh, chapter 3 has been completed in the next lecture i will start chapter number 4 thank you students